GSU versus Ryder, gonna be a duel. Give a defense up to the defense with the ability and barbarian and barrel conquer the impossible. Here we go, Heil coming out for CSU. He'll be in the green. One twenty-five. This will be a most likely abbreviated duel here at CSU. Here in Woodling Gym, the Bronx are going to be in white and maroon. Green, black and white for the Vikings. Heil underneath under that front headlock right now. And for Logan Heil, is taking on... Kalinsky. Kalinsky out here for Ryder. Kalinsky, Heil. Kalinsky going to be in the maroon. R on the left rib. Heil, green, half gray hat. So Kalinsky versus Heil, scoreless here. You can see the clock in the background. 148 remains first period. Front headlock for Klinsky. Heil underneath. Throw by their attempt. Shot by attempt. Klinsky in on a left hand head inside single leg. Look at the score here. Forfeit at 49 is Ryder, Bobchin, Garcia, Reitzma, Vasquez, Anderson, Zuba going to be coming out for Ryder today. We're going to see Logan Hiles, Jake Manley, Caprella, or Marcus Robinson at 49. There's a left-handed head inside single leg, cuts across two, takedown, Logan Heil. 33 seconds remains in the first, got a left-handed half now. Short time left here, 25 now. Kyle on top. Kyle running him forward. Kyle going to work now. We're gonna have an abbreviated duel here at CSU between Ryder and CSU. Got a couple forfeits, so it should be, we should see eight to nine matches, depends if there's an extra minute. There it is, short time. Kyle's gonna ride period, and he's gonna take a 2-0 lead into the second, with 35 seconds of riding time. So choice, Heil, after Klinsky defers, it is going to be Heil's choice going to go underneath to start the second. So Heil up to his feet, going to take a 3-0 lead now for Logan Heil. 125 pounds here. 
Cleveland State versus Ryder. Polinski now in on a shot, kind of like a fireman's, trying to hop over. Now he's into a double. No, it's a high crotch on the other side. Pyle, long, lanky. Polinski a little bit smaller frame-wise. Pyle looks like he's going to collect the takedown here. Nothing yet. Has that back leg hook. Oh, they gave it. And it looks like there's going to be a brick throw on behalf of Ryder. The coaches are off the bench. Nothing yet. Coach battling on there, and they're going to look at it. Looks like they're going to look at it. Saying to, I don't know if there was a disc throw or not, but we're going to see here. I don't know if there was ever a takedown here to set up today. Here's what we're doing today at CSU. So, coach is going to talk and see if Klinsky is taken down by Hyle or not. It would be a 5 0 lead. I think that was come from behind. And it's 0 0 125 here. Ryder versus CSU. Also, just a reminder that given day at Cleveland State University will be February 16th, as your support will directly benefit the support of your choosing. For more information, please contact or visit so Kyle Klinsky here. My angle is definitely not too. This angle is not a takedown, their angle is probably a takedown. <laughs> Matches are brought to you by Defense Soap. Defense Soap, defend what you built. And it is, it is called No Two. Lead Hyle. Still with a 3 0 lead, a takedown and an escape. One taken off the board. Matches are brought to you by Defensive. Defensive, the Phoenix adult. Klinsky in on another single, gets forced again. He's got a back hook. Kyle's gonna get this one. Now Kyle's in on a single. That's both the two. Take down. Logan Kyle. 5-0. Doesn't matter. Got it anyway. So 5-0 lead. Logan Kyle. Cleveland State right now. On the mat. 125 pounds. Match is brought to you by Defense Soap. Defense Soap. The film that you built. 3 duels today on hand. We're going to have CSU taking on Ryder. Ryder versus Edinburgh. We're going to have... There's a lot going on. Short time here. Hiles ride time up to 52-5-1 and escape there for Klinsky. It's five seconds left here in the second. And Klinsky's going to go behind. Almost there. No, nothing. Hiles' arm just keeps getting in the way there. Like, really in the way. So right now, 5-1 lead Heil. Klinsky looks pretty undersized for 125 pounds just from the eyeball check here. Eyeball test. Not a genius, but that's what it kind of looks like. And listen, Ryder got me a new hoodie, and it's blowing me out of this place. I might have to take it off and go back to my original. I mean, this is a warm hoodie. You know that, right? It's a good hoodie. So shout out to Coach Angie, Nick Badlion. I just... Coach Wolf, I mean, his head of hair that Coach Wolf's got. Oh, my goodness. Piling on another shot, head outside. Looking to score the Brunswick Blue Double here. 
Logan Heil on Klinsky. Klinsky looking to sit corner now. The size is really an issue for Klinsky, man. Heil's massive for the weight. Klinsky not so much. Sitting corner now is Klinsky. Is Klinsky not going to get this? Two cuts across. Heil, Savarun, he's got to be thinking major decision. He's going to go up over a minute here in five seconds. So it'll be 8-1. He's got to find a way to go get that major decision for Cleveland State. Logan Heil up big, doing the job right now for CSU. Klinsky now. He needs that. He needs another shot. Okay, take down, take down right out. Get him the majors. Got 133 of ride time. Kyle in a good position for bonus points here for Cleveland State. So 125, Logan Howe looking to make a decision. Klinsky shot. Ooh, nice little. Fireman's keeping that down leg. Two takedown. Linsky is Klinsky is going to get it and nullify any type of major decision chance that Heil has. And it's going to be 3 0. Oh. 3 0. -oh. Check that. 3 0. -oh. In favor of Cleveland State. For Ryder, Richie Kohler, and the Vikings, Jake Manley. So 3-0, we're going to go into 133 pounds. We're going to be looking at Jake Manley, the 125 pounder last year from Otsego, out of Ohio. Going to be taking on Richie Kohler. Kohler for Ryder. Jake Manley, Cleveland State, 133 pounds. 3-0 lead in favor of the Vikes. Both clocks, as you can see, well, there's two clocks. We've got one in the left center of the shot. CSU up 3-0 right now on Ryder here. Match is brought to you by Defense Soap. Defense Soap, defend what you built in Barbarian Apparel, Concrete Impossible. There's a shot, Manly, leg pass, roll now for Kohler. Richie Kohler looking to score here, they're funk rolling. Manly sitting on him now, now Kohler's underneath, split in the middle, looking to come out the back door. Now they're going to another foot pass situation, passing knees, passing feet, rolling. Gotta watch the danger. There's a danger one call on Manley. Now Manley pops up again. And now there's a danger in one call on Kohler. And we're gonna stalemate everybody gets to keep their ACLs today for the time being. So this duel brought to you by Defense Soap. Defense Oak, the Village of Belt, Guy Seiko, a CSU proud alum and CAA qualifier for the Vikings. There's double collar tie for each guy. Well, each guy has a single collar tie, so double collar ties. I was watching a couple double collar tires last night where it was just literally a guy double collar tying and blocking with both forearms. Last night, VMI versus Jesus Pete's App State. So, Richie Kohler, Jake Manley, scoreless here. 115 remains in the first period. Cleveland State up 3-0 off the strength of a Logan Heil decision at 125 pounds. Next match will be CSU versus Ryder. And then we will conclude the day with, sorry, it will be Ryder versus Edinburgh. And then the day will conclude with Edinburgh versus CSU. So now Manley and Kohler in another foot pass situation. Kohler could be in some trouble. No! Danger count. They're going to count it again. Manley could pin him. Oh, man, that's close. Two takes on Manley. Oh, wow. They gave the two. Another you make the call here. These guys are scrambling. Holy smokes, they're getting it. On the edge there. Kohler gets a reversal for two. 
Oh man, they're rolling. What a match here. 2-2 two, two bout, 16 seconds left in the first. A lot of action between Kohler of Ryder and Manley of CSU. Short time here, inside of 10 seconds, eight remains. Kohler trying to ride out period take like two seconds of riding time into the second, a 2 2 bout between Kohler and Manley. So, in between the break here, it's gonna be Choice Kohler. Kohler's gonna go underneath. Matches brought to you by Defense Up, Defense Up, the Phillips you built, and Barbarian Apparel conquered the impossible here. Check it all, the replay immediately available afterwards on the Ohio Cast YouTube that you're currently watching this on live. Ryder Bronx next versus Edinburgh will be live. So we'll cut this feed, open another feed. I'll tweet it out. Check it out on Twitter free of charge. So, here we go. 3-2 lead Kohler. Cognac Siegel High School, near Bowling Green, Toledo area, Northwest Ohio. Down 5-2 right now to Kohler of Ryder. And the right time is building up. Stall underneath on Manley. 40 seconds remains here in the second. 5-2 lead Kohler. So Richie Kohler. Quinn Kinner gonna come out next. At 41 and take a forfeit it looks like. We're gonna have double forfeits at 41-49 unless we can see a backup. Kohler, driver's seat right now. So, caution move. Get three of them, there's a roll, catches him with the half. There should be a count that was close. So riding tough now is Kohler. He's up over a minute ride time, 102 and climbing. 5-2 lead for Kohler. Driver's seat going into the third. It's gonna be Choice Manley though. Manley chooses underneath. He's gotta get out immediately. So 5-2 lead Kohler. Manley gonna choose neutral. 111 ride time, Kohler of Ryder. Double leg, beautiful double leg, puts him, sits him. Now funk roll. And that's what Kohler's been doing the whole match. He's been here all day. It's a funk situation here. With Kohler. And that's a place for Kohler. He's now got a 7 2 lead in ride time. So if you're Kohler, you've got to be thinking, obviously get the turn here. And this would be huge for Ryder. He's got it. That's huge. Ball, this would be huge for Ryder. All, all of them short handed, both teams short handed. Kohler got that down leg, got the boot in, elevated. Manley in big trouble here. He's got 107 to fight, it's a long time to be on your back. Kohler readjusting here now. Oh, he might take the boot out. Kohler looking for a ball. Manley's in big trouble here. He does fight out of it. And there it is, Kohler. Gonna have an 11 2 lead, plugging into 12 2, unless there's another turn. Hey, another turn, another turn. No, good. Hey, Looking again, he's got it. He's gonna be thinking tough. Falls. Two to two. Manly not in a great 
good position. Short time, 15 now. Can Fuller get another turn here in 12 seconds? It looks like Mandy is going to hit it right here. He's been warned once for stalling. It's not going to matter. 14-2. It's going to 14-2 at the right time for Fuller. And Ryder is going to take the lead after a couple turns. So it's going to be 4-3 to three Ryder. After 133 pounds, we're going to have a series of forfeits now. So we're going to have a forfeit for Ryder. Kinner going to get a forfeit, and then Caprella going to get a forfeit. So that is going to make it 10 to 3. And then after it's forfeit at 49 for Cleveland State, Robinson going to take the forfeit. Top 33 guy, a guy who made the NCAAs last year, Mac finalist, Marcus Robinson, the transfer from Buffalo, takes a forfeit, and that puts us up to 157 pounds. So here we go, Daniel Patton coming out with a sick mullet for Cleveland State here at 157 pounds. Your dual score scores 10-9 in favor of the Ryder Bronx. So 157 pounders are on the mat. Daniel Patton comes out for Cleveland State, picking on Riders, 157 pound, Alec Bobchin. So Bobchin taking on Patton. Patton from Stowe, Ohio, a Stowe Bulldog. No town listed for Bobchin. Matches brought to you by Fence Soap. Defense Soap, defend what you built, and Barbarian Apparel conquered the impossible here. CSU down 10 9 currently to Ryder. We're at 157 pounds here in a scoreless bout one minute in. Bob Chin, Ryder, Patton, CSU. So the next duel will be Edinburgh versus Ryder. I was prepared to shoot two matches today, two mats at once. Not what ended up happening. CSU wanted to wrestle duels. We're wrestling duels. Bobson. Alec Bobson. 157 pounds for Ryder. Patton. 157 pounds for CSU. We're scoreless. A buck 40, buck 50 into this thing. Nothing. Huge feeling out process whenever there's two minutes with no scoring at a weight like this. To get it at 197 in heavyweight, but not at 157. And Patton's a pretty explosive guy. So Bob Chin is actually from Princeton, New Jersey. And Ryder is in New Jersey for you folks who are not with Division One college wrestling. The Ryder Bronx. Head coach John Hanji, All American for him in '93. Fourth at 190 pounds. Had him on my podcast, The Barbarian Hour. We talked about he was at an all time great weight. A couple Olympians in the weight didn't place. Les Gutches was in the weight. Uh, geez, oh, Pizza. Uh, Dan Henderson was in the weight. Jeff Monson was in the weight. A bunch of professional uh, UFC guys. I mean, he was an all-time great weight, John Hanji from Ryder in 93, fourth in the country for the, the Bronx. Nick Bedland, another assistant coach. Ryan Wolf, another assistant coach for Ryder. So CSU is led by Josh Moore and Clint Musser. Musser and NCAA finalists. Both Musser and Moore, NCAA finalists for the Penn State Nittany Lions. And good dudes all around. Intense guys, fun guys. I enjoy them. Both of those guys, former coaches at Kent State, I might add. Coming from a Kent State homer. Bedlion, also an All-American for Kent State. So Patton up and out, 1-0 lead, Daniel Patton over Bobchin. Bobchin 
out of Princeton, New Jersey. One of the all-time greatest battles in the history. All-time greatest trickery in the history of American battles, folks. Princeton. Crazy, crazy trickery. George Washington, no big deal. So front headlock, Bob Chin. Patton, straight legged right now. 1 0 lead, Daniel Patton. Matches brought to you by Defense Soap. Defense Soap, the film which you built. Cleveland State alum and NCAA qualifier, Guy Seiko. Owner operator, all time go getter for Defense Soap. NCAA qualifier. Same weight class as John Smith, went 0 1 in the weight class. Crazy weight class. When you followed your man, which is one of the dumbest things ever when we're talking about college wrestling or any wrestling. So, Patton, I bought you with that nice little shuck he keeps trying. Patton not biting. Patton with a huge pin last year against WVU in the duel. Cleveland State narrowly got edged by the Mountaineers last year in a battle live on this channel on Gohio Casts. Josh Moore will be the guest this week on the Barbarian Hour. They will have a match tomorrow against Navy here in Woodland Gym. And then next Thursday, they're at Kent State. So we'll talk about and some, we'll uh, recap all these matches, talk about growing up with a twin. Shot, Patton. Now he's got a body lock. Bacho could be in some trouble here. Patton likes to go big. Forces him through, nothing yet. So something crazy could happen. I was videoing with another third camera. So we're going to take a look at this. Make the call. Tell me, was it two or not? They're going to take a look at it. The Edinburgh Fighting Shots will be taken on the Ryder College team. And after that, it will be Edinburgh and the Vikings. Full afternoon of top flight intercollegiate wrestling right here at Cleveland State. Thanks for joining us. So let's see what they're going to go with. This could change the match. He went for it. And two takedowns. Bobson, that's huge. Right, his time expires. Now he's got choice in the third. Oh, that is, that changes the whole complexion of the match, folks. Wow, and he went big, didn't get it. Bob Chin blocked him, almost put him on his, well, did put him on his back, but ran out of time. No near falls. Now Patton's got to go to work on top. Down 2-1 here to Bob Chin and Ryder. Patton to Cleveland State on top. Riding time now going Patton's way. He just turned it. So he can ride for overtime here. Bob Chin coming up to his feet. A nice little mat return, a little trip, little youth move trip forward. Boot comes in, Patton, cranking power half left side, right boot in. Getting real here at CSU, folks. We got a 10-9 duel. We had a double forfeit. We had an A forfeit at 41 and A forfeit at 49. Coach Musser calling for stalling here. And Bob Chin can't lay down there. He did get that takedown at the end of the second. Patton working hard on top here. Turning that elbow out. He's working hard here. Bob Chin's head's on the mat. We could see a stall warning underneath. They're calling for it. Ryder's calling for a stalemate, which I would be too. He's working on him pretty good. He's working hard. Now he flattens him out. Bachin does bring his hips up, though. Not just laying there. It'd be different if he was laying there. He's fighting. And there's, there's a stalemate. 40 seconds remains. The ride time at 112 now for Patton. He's up over that minute. So effectively, it's 2 1 on the board, but 2 2. Back on top, 40 seconds up. He's got 112 right time. Down 2-1. Oh, 
The Bobchin of Ryder Patton. All right, now Bobchin up to his feet. Got to return to McGinn. He does. 32 seconds left. We could see overtime here. An escape for Bobchin will win this for him. Patton went for a throw at the end of the period. Got blocked to his back. Gave up two at the end of it. Now Daniel Patton's put a hard ride on him. His ride time up to 135 now. 15 now left in the third. Ryder. The problem with that is it's an iPad over in the corner here. It's this iPad over here. That's where they're doing their review from. I don't know if we're going to get that locked hands call, but smoke them if you got them, see, uh, uh, Ryder. Smoke them if you got them. We'll see. This will this will decide the match. He gets a, a point here. It's it's over. He wins. He wins three two. But right now we're looking at overtime between Bobchin, 157 pounds, and Patton of Cleveland State. And it's been a war, man. It's been a great match. Okay, this is what college wrestling is all about for all you folks who don't know much about college wrestling. This is what it's about. Two guys scrapping, battling. Both guys, nobody backing down. A ride time. That's what I like about ride time. You're controlling somebody. What Patton did. And I think they were talking in the middle there a little bit. A little bit of talk there. What are they saying, you know? What are they talking? Call a little Jersey smack? Okay. I'll take it. I like it. So, call. Confirm. We're going to overtime. Two minutes sudden victory. They only got one minute on the clock, though. There should be two minutes. If you don't love the two minute on your feet to start overtime, you hate wrestling. Sorry. Just like politics, you can only only believe my, my opinion, folks. All other opinions suck. So here we go. Two minute overtime, Patton, Bobchin. It is gonna get real here, folks. Whoever gets this one wins in overtime. So Bobchin, Patton, been a battle here. Match is probably about fence up, the fence up, the film you built. Barbarian Apparel, Patton with a ride out in the third. Bobchin with a takedown at the end of the second. We're at 2-2, and that's how the, all the scoring was done. A ride time point to escape for Patton. A takedown hey, for Bobchin. We and we are one. 45 seconds into this overtime. This could decide the duel right here, folks. It's 10-9 in favor of Ryder. Shucks him by. Goes inside, trip. He's like going to break behind the leg there. And Patton. Option scored last time. Could be a crazy throw here. They're on the edge, Patton pushing hard. 45 seconds from Manchester. on the mat, 12-10 dual score in favor of the Vikings of CSU, Ryder. Here we go. In the coaches poll, Riley Smucker from Smithville State runner-up, App State transfer. Go forward. Smuck 
For CSU and for Ryder at 165 pounds, we're looking at Michael Wilson. Check that, check that. Angel Garcia. Just to get confirmation, this is Angel Garcia in the red for Ryder. So Garcia, Smucker. No hometown listed for Angel Garcia. A little help out on the uh, live feed on this one. Shot, Smucker, Smucker, a top 33 guy in the coach's poll. Sits him, nothing yet, two takedown, Riley Smucker. Smucker 2-0 lead over Angel Garcia of Ryder. Smucker, Cleveland State. Cleveland State with a 12-10 lead. Both teams have a forfeit at 41 and 49. Six and six for each team. And he is working hard on that arm. Oh my goodness. Oh, like that glare ride. Uh, now a claw. Uh, Ryder did list two guys at 65. Garcia got the nod. Smucker working on top here. His ride time at 35 seconds and climbing. 118 remains here in the first period. 2 0 lead. Riley Smucker. Smucker CSU. Let's go, Riley. Smucker dominating Garcia here early on. Takedown. Working on top. He's got that arm bar left side. It's barred up. And he had a claw there for a minute. Now prying on the thigh right side now. Now he's going to jump over. And Garcia going to get one. He breaks. He's up and out. Garcia walks back to the center. 42 seconds remains first period. CSU Ryder. Here we go. 35. 35. Look for one. So there's an eye poke. Smucker steps back. These CSU guys are pretty fun over here. I like them. Garcia, Smucker, live here on Ohio Cast YouTube. Matches brought to you by Defense Soap. Defense Soap. Defend what you built in Barbarian Apparel. Conquer the impossible. End of the first. Two-one lead. Smucker. Off the strength of a nice takedown. He's got 110 of ride time for Smucker. Garcia is a really tall, 165. Dual score in favor of Cleveland State. You can see it up in the upper right hand corner. 12 to 10. Nice mat return. Garcia on Smucker right now. Smucker doing a nice job. His ride time has dipped now below a minute. Garcia hands locked. Gonna have to return him here. Could get dinged for a stall here. He's trying to lift. Smucker doing a nice job staying up. Oh, he does bump him back. Oh, he goes head hunting. Could be looking for a fall. Smucker's got Garcia in some big trouble on the edge. Could be looking for a fall for CSU. That was huge. Garcia could be in some big trouble here. Smucker on top. Oh, he's got it turned over. And now he turns and they're off the mat. That's crazy. So Angel Garcia down four to one. I don't know, did we count any near falls? Or is 4 1 the correct score? Must be. Forward pressure, forward pressure, straight flat. Hey, good one. It's a smucker on top. Garcia up in the quad pod. Might try and lift him here. Garcia up and out. 52 seconds remains. Four two lead Smucker. CSU versus Ryder here, 165 pounds. Riley Smucker. 
Up on Angel Garcia of Ryder. We're inside of 25 now. Left in the second period. Fifteen now. See if someone can score some short time points here. Garcia's headgear look like my sons. All loose and big. So Smucker Garcia 4-2. Smucker going into the third. Chopping, moving, head lever now on the left arm. The smucker, claw now. There's a roll, catches him on his back. There's near balls. And Garcia wrestles through the position though, does give up to near ball, but does get a reversal at 6 4 just like that. The ride time now going the opposite way. Garcia's got to get that ride time. It's at 123 and counting down now. 134 left in the bout. So he's got to ride for 20 more seconds to erase the ride time, let him go. He'll be down 7-4. Effectively, it's 7-4 now with the ride time. 110 counting down now for Smucker. So Garcia's got to hold him down for five more seconds. Do one more rat return maybe. And he does hold on. He does not clear. 103 at ride time with 116 remaining in the bout. 6-4 lead Smucker, Cleveland State. So blood now. They're going to go blood on... Defense Soap, Defense Soap, the Fellowship Belt and Barbarian Apparel Contra the Impossible matches here at CSU today. Starting off with Ryder versus Cleveland State. We're going to have eight bouts. We may have a ninth if there's an extra bout. But here we go. Back to action here. 165-64 lead. Riley Smucker has ride time. Now down below a minute. He rolls. There's locking hands as plain as day. Free move for Smucker. It's going to be 7-4. Nick Bradley on third, no way, he rolled. Turns out it doesn't matter if he rolls or not, you can't lock your hands. Clasping's clasping, folks. So Smucker, 7-4 lead. So the ride time he lost just got replaced with a locking hands call, essentially. One minute remains, third period, 7-4, Riley Smucker, he's down underneath. So nice Matt return. Ooh, that was nasty. And he like went to his back and then was had the presence of mind to belly down. He slammed him on his like butt. That was crazy. I haven't seen a Matt return like that. I have to send that one to Shane Sparks. He'll be fired up. He likes a good Matt return. My guy Shane. As soon as I cut the feed, the match will be available for replay, I believe, on YouTube. So it's going to end up 7-4 here. It looks like there's a stall underneath on Smucker. Not going to matter. And Smucker going to win this one 7-4. CSU going to extend their lead to 15-10 to after 165 over Ryder. So the Bronx. Drop the match at 165. Riley Smucker, top 33 guy. You should see in Detroit this year. Takes the win. These are Mid-American Conference foes, so they can see each other at the tournament. Garcia off the net, and the dude is tall. Holy smokes. Reitzma coming out versus Anthony Rice, the product out of Steubenville, Ohio. Rice is exciting to watch. Sick happens when he's on the mat. Reitzma coming out for Ryder. I'm gonna like this one, this should be a good one. 
So Reichsma is going to be coming out at 174 pounds for the riding for rider Bronx. Rice for CSU. So Rice, Rice, Reichsma on the mat. Here we go. Match is brought to you by Defense Up, Defense Up, Defense Up, Defense Up. There's a double leg, and this guy is freaky, folks. Fun to watch. Tries to mat return him. And he's the definition of explosive and fun to watch. Rice for Cleveland State, 174 pounds. Turn, puts him down, 2-0 lead Rice, putting a ride on him, up to 15 seconds now. So, 2-1 lead, now Wright's in on a deep shot, head, in, head outside on the right side, uh, the right leg of Rice. Head under there, head under. Now he's trying to go head under. Is Reitzman looking to come out the back? Cuts across double now. Rice seems pretty comfortable here. Now he splits the middle. Now he's in on a double leg, edge of the mat. Reitzman looks like he's gonna run out of real estate here. If the foot goes on the gym floor, they normally blow that one dead. Nothing yet. 136 remains here at 174 in the first 2-1 lead for Anthony Rice of CSU. So, 2-1 lead Rice. 133 remains. And he likes this. Rice likes it when someone tries to stalk him down. Kind of creates some space for him. Nice little slide by the time Reitzma got out right away for Ryder. 174, there's a shot single leg now by Rice. Got him hopping. Now he's going to try and almost like room sticking. Reitzma, now in a good position to score. One minute remaining here. Got a limp arm here. Elevating that foot. That's the limp arm. Reitzma, ooh, he's got to watch his elbow. Nothing, now Rice attacks. The foot passes it. Good scramble here. Nothing. Right to the him. Sits him. Nothing yet. Two takedown. Great exchange. Reitzman takes the lead 3 2 now. This is a back and forth one at 174. Always exciting when Rice is on the mat. Love it. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds. So the headgear keeps coming off. They're trying to get it put back on for Reitzma. Reitzma with a 3-2 lead now. After a nice little broomstick scramble. Anthony Rice will be on top. He's down 3-2 to Reitzma. Shane Reitzma, quad pot immediately off the bottom. Up to his feet. Looking to score. Rice gonna shove him off the mat. We're gonna get a restart here, 154. Match is brought to you by Defense Up, Defense Up, the film that you built in Barbarian Apparel. Conquer the impossible here. CSU taking on Ryder. CSU currently out in front 15 to 10.
in the dual score. 3-2 lead, Shane Wright's my rider right now. Up to his feet, up and out, it's Wright's my 4-2 lead. Something crazy's gonna happen. I've been posting some highlights. Anthony Wright's one of my favorite guys to watch. Super exciting. Wright's got a 4-2 lead on him. So action is kind of his deal. Always something super explosive. He lets it all hang out there. No reserve tank for this guy. Anthony Rice, one of your more exciting guys in the country at 174 pounds. He might not qualify for the NCAA tournament, but I'll tell you what. He's going to give it all he's got, I know that much. He's a stupid little big red guy. Here, second period, 4 2 lead, Reitzman. Shot, Reitzman, single, and right handed on the right side. And we're on the edge now. Reitzman's got the single on the edge. We're going to cut Rice back. Nothing yet. Two words for takedown on the edge. He does get it. So, slick little two point takedown there on the edge for Reitzman. Extends his lead. So Reisman with some beautiful match management right now, up 6-2 on Rice after giving up that initial double. And he's putting a ride on him. Pretty good here. Rice gave up a stall call. 35 seconds left here, second period, 6-2 lead. Right. Seconds left in the period. You can see Rice get dinged again. There's the armbar laced up for Rice. Up, so, going to the third is going to be Choice Rice. Down 6 2, going to go neutral. Reitzma up big here. I mean, big for college wrestling. A four-point lead is pretty big for college wrestling. He's got 52 seconds of ride time. So here we go. Third period. Rice, Reitzma. Rice chose neutral. Got the first two. Reitzma's kind of match managed him pretty hard here. Shot Rice. Reitzma in the driver's seat here. Reitzma for Ryder. Rice. CSU in the green. Down 6 2. So something's going to happen here. If you're a right smart, I would just hand fight hard, just hold the center. I mean, obviously, it takes down ice, is that, but if you're right smart, you could go get that. Go get that major decision, too. They are down 15 to 10 right now to CSU in the duel. And Rice doesn't seem to want to engage like he normally does, where he like picks you up, takes him double leg here, throws you, and Rice going to the single. Rice going to buck him off the mat in the tip. And Rice going to got the small major if he needs it. Real bad. Rice throws back to the center. Rice is very capable of a two and two here. Think the back explosion. Rice going to. Also very capable of snaking him for a takedown and ice. Rice keeps standing up. Knees are getting more and more straight. There's not much bend left. Usually a sign you're getting tired. There's another deep shot. Rice stuffs the head. Might be thinking about like jumping to a cradle. Rice been hanging on there. That's what ice would be next year. Now he just breaks him over and just forces him. Oh, that's the stuff I'm talking about. Now he's down 6, 4, 15 seconds. Up. Wright's going to knock him off. CSU 
they're going to take. coming out for CSU taking on Evan Vasquez so Vasquez coming out for a rider NASA returning national qualifier this guy can squat a Volkswagen NASA taking on Vasquez Vasquez for rider Evan Vasquez for rider DeAndre Nasser CSU the Bluffton product, G3 state champion in Ohio. Nasser, Nasser, Vasquez, here we go. 184s are on the mat. CSU with a 15-13 lead. Nasser returning national qualifier for the Vikings of Cleveland State. And Nasser, one of your shorter 184s in the country. Obviously super powerful, wrestles really hard in all the positions. This duel's up for grabs, folks. There's three matches left, it's up for grabs. CSU with two national qualifiers in a row. So let's see if they can get the job done. Matches are brought to you by Defense Soap, Defense Soap, Defense Soap, Defense Soap, Barbarian Apparel, Conquer the Impossible. Nasser Vasquez, him fighting hard here. You gotta really lower your level against Nasser. He is one of the shorter 84s in the United States of America. Qualifier last year. Hopefully see him again in Detroit this year. Him and Vasquez, hand fighting hard here. Shout out to his mom. She's cool. Every time we talk, she's real cool. Saw her at the district tournament. One swipe. He's powerful. So your dual score 15 13 in favor of CSU. Nasser up. 2-0 here on Vasquez. Vasquez kind of comes up to his feet. Crack, back pressure into Nasser. DeAndre Nasser returning national qualifier for CSU. the second one minute ride time now for Nasser and clicking up 
picking up. Vasquez is going to get on the board here. He's got hand control. Nash is going to have to return him. Double legs him off the mat. Nice control there. Remains in control. 114 to ride time behind the Nash for CSU. Vasquez, a rider. Got to find a way off the mat. Vasquez, 133 ride time for Nasser. 112 left in the second here. 2 1 lead, DeAndre Nasser. CSU. Now Vasquez in on a single. Looking to score here. Picks up, got him hopping. Can Vasquez get this? Turns down. Seconds left. He's got some traffic. He can shove him off for a stall. He can shove him off for a stall. Short time. Oh, that up. Nick Bethlehem. Oh, ho, ho. I'm going to sit down there, Coach Bethlehem. So Nasser underneath to start the third. He's got a 2-1 lead. Coach Moore, the official talking. We're going to go team point. We're going to bust him. So Nasser underneath. He's got a 2-1 lead here in the third. Goes underneath. Vasquez is going to cover. All right, DeAndre. Up and out, that's how you get off the bottom, folks. He still has one, the riding time is running, though. Should have stopped at 124, stops at 120. So Vasquez can tie this up with a takedown and then take that ride time. He's going to have to ride for 35 seconds. Take down ISIS it for him now. He's got the only take down in the house. There's his double, he's in the body. Nice job, Vasquez. Pulls him up, gets him out of his hips. Shot, swing and a miss there. Nasser hanging out here, 48 now. He's about to have a 4 1 lead. He can lock the stride time up here. So 32 seconds remains, 3-1 lead, DeAndre Nasser, Vasquez, Ryder going after him, 3-1 bout, riding time is locked up now. 
Vasquez, effectively down 4-1, going to have to go feed the back here. Takes a shot. Nasser blocks, takes a little shot himself. Robert Nasser is going to kick the win up and extend CSU's lead to 18-13 to after 184 times. Not going to get the two, not going to matter. Still going to win this bout. Team on two points, 4-1 lead down to Nasser. CSU 18-13 after 184. One ninety-sevens are on the mat. Returning national qualifier to CSU Ben Smith. I believe a Hoover Viking. Smith taking on the one ninety-seven for Ryder. We're looking at Jacob Anderson. Confirms Jacob Anderson. There's a shot. Roll it down by Anderson. Takedown, Smith. Ben Smith, two takedown, Chris Anderson. So Smith versus Anderson. Smith, CSU, Anderson. Ryder with the shoulder brace, 2-1 lead, Smith. Smith, another deep shot. Left hand head inside single leg. Shoves him off. We're gonna get a restart here. 157, 2-1 lead. Turning national qualifier events. CSU 1813 lead. A win here ices the duel for CSU. Match is brought to you by Defense Up, Defense Up, the film that you built in Barbarian Apparel. Conquer the impossible. Smith. 2 1 lead here. Anderson, single leg attempt. One ninety-seven on the mat. CSU versus Ryder. CSU driver seat. Eighteen thirteen right now in the duel. Each team had a forfeit. One forty-one and one forty-nine. Six and six each. Got a minute, man. Minute. CSU has been on top since that. So Fifty-five seconds left in the first two-one lead. Ben Smith. Jacob Anderson. Ryder. Ryder in the white singlets, CSU in the green and gray. 38 seconds left in the first. Riding time at five seconds. This Now, short time takedown, so we can go get it. Yeah. There's a double, we got his head in the middle. Yeah. Five now, Anderson's gonna hang on. Another oh, yeah. four seconds. Four. Hang out to the second, no score. To the second period, two on lead. Smith. 
Sixteen here, Paul. Sixteen. Get one, get one, get one, get one. He's under. Hey, fifty seconds. Top right here. Top right. Smith driver seat here, 62 liters ride times at 25 and climbing. 30 seconds left in the second. Look at arm out here. Hey, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. We're gonna get a restart here. 62 lead Smith. His ride time, if he can stay on top, will be a, one, exactly one minute going into the third. Yeah, yes, 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 forward, forward. Yes. 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 Smith's going to ride period. He's going to take one minute of ride time, 6-2 lead into the third. Takes, he picks up a win here versus Ryder. It slams the door shut on the duel. 1813 Vikings going into 197. 6 3 lead now for Smith. Clocks in the background, 138 left in the bout, 6-3 lead, 112 ride time for Smith of CSU, returning national qualifier. Lefty single, deep, going to score again, Anderson tries to do some trickery. Now Smith going to turn the heat up, could be looking for a major. Smith got that lefty single, runs him down, double two. 10-4. Ben Smith trying to go again on Anderson. It'll be 10-5. Goes again, lefty. High crotch, cuts across. Double two, takedown. Ben Smith putting that takedown clinic. He's right time at 127. He's right for the major here. It's going to slam the door shut. See if she will win the duel. 48 seconds left. He wants another one. Anderson's got to stop him. Lefty single on the edge. Shoots him off. Action to Paul. 26. Needs a takedown. Dennis Smith. Nice hands there. Nice single. Got a run into it. Got a cut across the far ankle. Shallow Wizards who take down 14 6. Essentially 15 6. Dan Smith showing you what it's supposed to look like when you turn it up. He's going to win the duel for CSU with a major decision. Going to knock off Anderson. 15 seconds left. And that is how you finish in style. And if you are an upperclassman, a returning national qualifier, that's what it should look like as a leader. So CSU is going to knock off Riley. He's still got heavyweight. Ben Smith impressive performance at 197. Up at the end. Calvary coming out. Oh, this one's going to be quick, it looks like. The Calvary in some trouble here. They're rolling. To take down Ryder. Should get interesting here at 285. Nice. That is nice. So Zuba, David Zuba coming out against John Kelbley. Zuba, John Kelbley. Up, John, up. So Zuba, 2-0 lead right now. Magic is brought to the defense of the defense of the defense of built and Barbarian Apparel conquered the impossible.
Calbly Zula, 2 1 lead for Suba. Suba for Ryder, Calbly, CSU. Came out right away with fireworks. Both of them kind of settled in. 22 13 in favor of CSU in the duel. It is in the books essentially as a win for CSU. Slide by, we went to a low single. CSU string. Two takedown, that was beautiful. Oh man, 4 1 lead to Suba. Nice escape there, 4 2. Four two Suba. Oh, nice job. Pulls the trigger on a high crush and sits the corner immediately to a kind of a limp leg there. Is Suba. Is Suba looking to step over that back leg? Crotch lift now. Could be looking for exposure here. Looking for danger. He's got it. And there it is. Takedown for Suba. Suba gonna have a 6-2 lead now with 52 seconds left. That was nice. Really nice. Like High, high IQ wrestle. Nice. So CSU gonna win this duel 22-13. And they're gonna dis they're gonna throw the block. Coach Moss doesn't agree with the call. Smoke him if you got him, Coach Moss. Smoke him if you got him. I like it. Why keep the cube with you if you can use it? Always use your challenge at heavyweight. There's a little, there's some advice for you. If you got it, it doesn't do you any good the next match. Just a reminder, coming up on February 5th, fans, it will be the CSU Wrestling Alumni Day here in Cleveland State. With a three-match social in the Matter Mansion right across the parking lot, cost is $20. Tickets can be purchased at csuvikings.com. That's February 5th before the OU game with... So match is brought to you by Defense Soap, Defense Soap, Defend What You Built, and Barbarian Apparel, Conquer the Impossible. Of course, CSU is going to lose that. I didn't say it was a great challenge, but if you got it left, use it. They're already going to win the duel. That challenge does you no good to keep with you. If it doesn't carry over to the next duel. Nice Gramby roll in there. He's going to catch a cross face there. I thought he had a beat in. He does not. Clearing his hips nicely is Calbly. Got to have a boot in. We're kind of 50 50 there. And now Calbly to the body. And he steps over to Subin for the two. No, no two. There was no exchange, no change, no change ever there. So I'm wrong there. There was no change. So end of one six two suit. No escape. One forty eight at ride time for Suba. Not seen Suba from bottom, so here we go. Second period, he's got 6 2 lead. Booth comes in for Calvary. Ooh, I've seen that done before. Calvary kind of bounced off his head. He does got double boot, super high here. He's down 6 2. Suba gonna get one. These guys have been going dynamite. So it's been a fun heavyweight match to watch. Suba 7 2 now. It's Calvary. Suba of Ryder, Calbly of Cleveland State, Cleveland State in the green. Maroon and white for the Bronx of Ryder. 122 remains, second period. Suba, all the takedowns and some near falls. Suba's gone to the body a couple times. We'll have to check that out. Calbly has. Suba's had a lot of answers. Calbly, Suba. 7 2 Suba. Another score here. Decides to be escape for 
Suba. Waiting for an explosion. They've had some great exchanges. Suba scored on all of them. Even off a really nice Kelvin shot. High crotch. She sat the corner on. Put him in danger. Another one. Deep shot. Same thing happened the first one. Put him in danger last time. See if he can do it again. Nice job by Cowboy doesn't hey, give that up. 15 here. seconds left here in the second. <laughs> no score. 7 2 <laughs> so 7 2 lead. Super going into the third. Cowboy going to go underneath to start the third. Cowboy's done a nice job coming off the bottom. Nice little Bramby. Let's see if we can get a shot of this. Cowboy underneath. He's been calling forward. Clear interception, Bramby. Super's done a nice job of riding. He's up at 140 of ride time now. Cowboy's going to have to run his feet, clear his hips, and roll. So he's got out all the other times. Nice job by Suba. Staying on top. Got to get that quad pot going. There it is. There's that roll. Nice little job. Comes out. Suba checks follows. Remains in control. And that is good wrestling for everyone. All right, dude. Keep working, bud. But he's got 115 remains over two minutes of ride time. It's locked up right now if he gets reversed. You are going to have an extra match, it looks like. 174. There's the roll again. See if he remains on top, make him carry his weight, so feed him a forearm. Other side, there you go. Punch it out, punch it out. Left hand punch. You got it, you got it. Get that leg in if you can. Get that leg in if you can. Right side. Stall underneath on Kelvin. And 10 seconds away from this one being over, and it looks like we're going to see an 8-2 decision for Suba, and he will not off Calvary, and it'll end up 22 to 16. CSU's gonna win this duel. Suba's gonna knock off Calvary, and now we got some extra matches. 174 is on the net. So Corey Conley coming out for Ryder at 174 for CSU. That is going to be Jack Leonard. So Leonard. Jax Leonard coming out. Two takes down Jax Leonard. He's taking on Corey Conley. The match is brought to you by Defense Up, Defense Up, Defense Up, you built. Cleveland State wins the duel 22 to 16. This is an extra bout at 174 pounds.
So in your extra match, level up 4-1 here against Ryder. Leonard came out with a quick takedown. Yeah. Looks like he's going to get another one here. I think it's a near fall. Jack Leonard could be looking for a fall. Tony is in some trouble here. 115 left in the second. 6 1 lead. Jack Leonard. 174 pounders on the mat. Gonna end up getting four four. One minute remains, second period. Leonard up big. Leonard could give up a reversal. He does. He's gonna have a 10 3 lead after the reversal and his near falls are added. 41 seconds left for Leonard with over two minutes of ride time. The duel is already over. This is an extra match at 174 pounds. Inside at 2015 now. Conley Leonard, looks like Leonard's gonna knock him off. Arm bar now. You got another period though. Matches are brought to you by Defense Soap, Defense Soap, Defense which you built hardware and apparel content and possible. Leonard gonna go neutral to start the third. Shot, counter shot, nice little counter shot off of that. Couldn't do it. 130 left here in this extra match. here a little bit, but he's explosive and fun to watch. Looking. Oh my goodness. We will cut the feed for this. We're going to have Edinburgh versus Ryder right after this. So we'll cut this feed. I'll tweet out another link and you Ryder Faithful and Edinburgh CSU Faithful will be able to watch that over on another feed that I will put out here as soon as these guys are done. Conley did get a one swipe there, but it's not going to matter. He's going to lose this one. 11-7. And Leonard kind of ran out of gas, but put 11 on the board, which isn't easy to do in a D1 match. So enjoy. Leonard picks up the win. Knocks off Conley at 174. Cleveland State, your winner, 22-16 here at Woodling Gym. I'm doing another one right now. I'm going to tweet it out. It'll be a new link. I got you. Yeah, no, yeah, I don't want to. Hey, that's the final They can watch their shit now. They can let me know they can. They can go watch it. No, I, I, I get your point. I got you. I got you. Don't worry. I wouldn't either, but I see where you're coming from.
Jake? You wrestle with my nephew at Kent State. And so I wrestled at Kent State, but I'm old. I'm like 42. And Nick was um, teammates with my nephew. My nephew was a three-time All-American. Nick was a two-time All-American. And then um, uh, he and Jonah, uh, he and my nephew, and then um, uh, 